Hey, what's going on there, folks? Good evening. It is the Earthmaster back here once again on this Thursday night, uh, September 7th, 2023. It's about 9.55 p.m. California time out here along the West Coast. And the uh, latest activity looks like uh, some movement there in Puerto Rico. 2.5, also some movement. Uh, well, we did have quite a bit of activity here in Northern Cal. Let's zoom in here real quick and see what we got. Seems some movement... Uh, all across Northern California and also off the coast here of Oregon and Northern California. Just shy of the Cascadia subduction zone. We did have a couple of these smaller earthquakes out here across the fracture zones and the Gorda uh, area, the Gorda Escarpment region, seeing a little bit of activity as well. Uh, so that could uh, be a sign of some impending pressure out here across this area of the subduction zone. Definitely continue to keep an eye on that. Uh, further up north around the Mount St. Helens area. Still seeing a small amount of activity. Uh, just kind of keeping an eye on that. Up in northern Cal or down here in northern California, there's that movement across the, the state. A couple earthquakes here on the west side of the Sacramento Valley and uh, over here around Biggs, 2.7 coming in about 16 kilometers deep. Uh, I think this here has to do with the Cascadia subduction zone. A little bit of crustal quakes going on here across the area. Uh, further down south, Southern California looks uh, fairly quiet, wouldn't you say? There's not a whole lot of activity up here on the map. Uh, just a handful of smaller microquakes, although the Ridgecrest area, if you look at this, I've seen a little bit of fracture. Um, uh, these little fault systems here showing a little bit of activity, although not anything to worry about. Looks like mostly ones and some uh, mid ones, I would sh say, around that area. All right. Moving on uh, up to the North Yellowstone National Park, getting a little bit of activity here on the Hebgen Lake, a little point three. Let's see if we got anything shown up here on this map, uh, which I don't think we're gonna see too much activity, but you never know. There's some of that smaller activity earlier this morning, it looks like, uh, but overall general seismicity here at the park looks uh, pretty quiet. There's some activity down here as well, but very, very small microquakes. All right, uh, not a whole lot going on through the rest of the country, though. Puerto Rico getting in on slight activity. Uh, we did have another 3.4 over here around the uh, Virgin Islands area, 34 kilometers deep. A uh, little bit of a divergent boundary out here against the, uh, well, this is kind of the triple point area between the Cocos Plate, the Nazca, and the Pacific Plate over here. Just off of that plate boundary. Triple junction, the triple point junction out here. 4.6. Um, some activity down into the uh, Chile area once again. Following that uh, movement out there yesterday with that, uh, what do we have? Six pointer, 6.2. Couple aftershocks. Continue to watch that though for some movement. Also, some activity here across the divergent boundary of the South Pacific Ocean around the Pacific Antarctica Ridge. That was from uh, actually last night. <clears throat> Kermadec Trench. 4.9 earlier this afternoon local time here in California. 10 kilometers deep. Uh, let's give a quick glance here at the GeoNet servers, see if there's anything major going on. Uh, as far as the felt reports go, not a whole lot. Uh, the last one was a 2.9 12 hours ago there, North Island, and the earthquake drums out here. Looks like a little bit of activity here. Uh, just coming in to the North Island area. Looks like some, maybe a little bit of a swarm here in this region. And uh, for the most part though, nothing of major interest right now across that area. <clears throat> uh, further to the north and west here, we're starting to see a little bit of activity stir up here off the coast of Japan. And also down here the, along the Mariana Trench at 4.5 outside of Guam. Uh, so definitely watch this area. We have seen some deeper movement here recently across this area. Uh, still keeping an eye on the Kuro Kamachaka Trench. Uh, notice this morning though, we did have that 4.5 working its way across the Aleutian Trench area. It looks as though that momentum is continuing to work its way along that plate boundary and off of it. This is pretty much where it, it bends uh, from the, uh, the plate boundary up here which of course is the uh, Pacific and the North American plate boundary subduction zone. Stirring up some uh, other earthquake activity just off the coast here of uh, Russia, 
5.0 and a 4.8. Again, watch this area here. This is, I believe this is firmly primed for some large scale movement that just continues to delay. 4.5 out in China, a little bit of activity across the Mediterranean near Greece, a 4.2 earlier this evening. Um, let's see, you're kind of skipped the mainland of Alaska up here. A little bit of movement across the Cook Inlet region. Nothing major that I can see. 3.3 near Anchor, Anchor Point. Aside from that, a uh, push of activity further up north around the Denali region. It's all very typical, though, for this major subduction zone. All right, uh, jump into space weather here. It looks like we hit the blackout time. <laughs> Perfect timing. It's always right around 10 o'clock. Notice the lack of data just coming in here, but that's okay. Uh, there doesn't look like there was any flaring prior to this blackout uh, there on the... Oh, look at that. That's kind of crazy looking. A bunch of loops here. It almost looks like some type of... Uh, I don't know what. See that? Kind of crazy looking. Like a dragon's head. Some horns up here. Ooh, that's a, that's a neat looking picture. Uh, so a little bit of activity... Flaring up from 3424, 3425, 3423. This is a, a fairly active region. Looking at the magnetogram here shows this one. Looks like they want to join. Uh, but this one is the area that uh, I think we need to watch here pretty closely. Looks like this may spell a little bit of trouble as far as some flaring goes in the coming days. That is uh, traveling or rotating here across the Earth view of the sun. Right now, 95% chance for a C flare, M flare at 25, and X flare around 5% chance. And continue to watch out. Look at that little. When was this put out? Uh, September 7th, 2040 UTC time. So that was uh, about eight hours ago, and that still have, has a little dynamic view there, similar to similar to the uh, to this image. It's pretty crazy looking though. That is flaring currently right now. Um, but we'll watch that. All right, uh, what do we got here for uh, we National Hurricane Center? The Atlantic Ocean is active with Hurricane Lee out there. Uh, Lee has become a dangerous Category 5 hurricane, folks. Category 5. That ain't no joke. Let's check, the, uh, check out the satellite view here real quick. See what we got for the latest information here on Lee. Look at that. That's a Category 5 right there. You do not want to be anywhere around that thing. Look at that perfectly well-defined eye of Lee. And uh, goodness, that's a big one out there. So look at the warnings and the cones here. This gives us a good indicator of where Lee is headed. It's expected to stay a major hurricane for, next, for at least the next few days here. Not a whole lot in the way. There's not... Any cool spots out here in the Atlantic that would affect this hurricane. So this is going to be a long duration event with the powerful Hurricane Lee. Um, it is headed towards the Bahamas, but let's see what we got here uh, for the latest, let's see, 160 miles an hour sustained winds. Goodness, that's crazy. West-northwest at about 14 miles an hour. I want to check out the numerical model here real quick and see what these models are telling us got to go out here to the uh we'll go to the north atlantic out here here's hurricane lee states over here another tropical development gonna run this model here a little bit and see where the path takes us now remember this high pressure system up, up here runs counterclockwise low pressure in the northern hemisphere gonna run uh, counterclockwise so this is all kind of stirring these events here um it's probably going to get caught up here in the uh the patterns it looks like let's see here look at that sharp turn northward wants to go west northwest and then all of a sudden it just gets caught up low pressure over here um yeah it's just it's probably going to follow the the rest of the herd so to speak not expected to make landfall at least here in the states up north potentially gonna have to keep an eye on that Maybe clipping, maybe clipping the extreme northeast up here. We'll continue to watch that. That model run shows it a little bit closer uh, to the shoreline. Again, it's, uh, you know, about when it takes its turn right there, it's going to be an important date. And that looks like it's going to be on the uh, 12th or the 13th. That's going to be UTC, or uh, 
uh, Z time right there, about six o'clock on Tuesday. So, you know, we uh, we have about six days, right, to watch this thing. But I think, uh, you know, we'll, we'll obviously get a more direct path of where this thing's expected to go in the coming days. Definitely something to watch pretty closely, though. All right, uh, what else we got? Anything major going on here? I think that's about it, folks. I'm just going to make this uh, kind of a quick update. Got a, had a pretty busy day. Got a busy day tomorrow. And um, member drawing. Yep, member drawing is coming up here in about eight days or so. That's a member drawing. So if you want to be included in that member uh, drawing that we do every single month, make sure you uh, sign up here on this channel to be a, m a member. I uh, don't have to be the top tier member. You can be any any tier member here on the channel and you will be entered into the fishbowl that we uh, do every month. And of course, the uh, 100,000 subscriber giveaway uh, will be at the end of this month. Got over, over 300 entries so far. Hopefully we can push that up a little bit higher. All right, folks. Um, we'll catch you back here sometime tomorrow. Take care. And uh, I think that's about it. Stay safe out there.